So gonadarellin is a medication that is an analog for gonadotropin releasing hormone, or GnRH. What that does is essentially it mimics what the hypothalamus releases prior to getting to the pituitary and telling it to release luteinizing hormone. If your pituitary has good function, then it may, and I say may because not always, but it may work. The problem is that because the anterior pituitary, which sits in the front of your brain, is responsible for luteinizing hormone, and anyone who's had any level of TBI, which is traumatic brain injury, or any sort of head trauma like a concussion, and a lot of guys have, whether it be football, MMA, you know, car accident, military, whatever the case is, if you've ever suffered a concussion, then presumably there's going to be some level of damage to the anterior pituitary, and it may throw off the gonadotropin signaling. So luteinizing hormone levels, and this can also be impacted by drugs, alcohol, uh, over-the-counter medication, and poor sleep, as well as stress levels. All of these factors, which now we're starting to encompass the masses as far as the population goes right now, uh, the more of these things we name, the more people are probably saying, hey, that sounds like me. Your luteinizing level hormones are going to be low. So stimulating a pituitary that is lagging or already fatigued is like kicking a dead horse. It's not going to do a whole lot. So releasing more GnRH, which is gonadotropin, what it does is, uh, gonadotropin, excuse me, is it mimics GnRH. It simply tells the pituitary to work harder. But telling a failed gland to work harder is not really going to do a whole lot. What HCG does is it mimics luteinizing hormone. It bypasses the pituitary's need to actually produce any gonadotropins, and it actually provides your testicles directly with a gonadotropic signal called luteinizing hormone. So it is significantly more effective because think of getting closer to the scene of the accident, right? We can't like clear the roadway from, you know, two miles back. We gotta be like right on top of the problem. And for more, most men, the problem is the pituitary, not the hypothalamus.